This is day seven of my advent calendar of books that influenced my book, Creating a Culture of Innovation, uh, now available on ebook and the print versions are on their way. Uh, so this was, uh, this is Constructing the Cold War Environment, the Strategic Architecture of RAND by Ma Michael Kubo. Um, this is a uh, Lulu publication, so it's self-published. And this is someone's, well, Michael's thesis. And it's about the history of RAND's uh, old office. So not their current one, but the old one. Um, and it's beautifully illustrated, the illustrations I was able to get my hands on as well for my own book. Um, but he really does a deep dive into why they invest in this new building, um, why they wanted to bring people together, and also why it eventually failed. Uh, beautiful imagery of how people used to hang out after the office and where the aesthetic of innovation and also this investment in these inner courtyards where people used to hang out, but only the people sort of in the immediate surrounding areas. You'll notice there's a lot of uh, open windows as well, which eventually led to the failure of the building because people kept the windows shut and computers got into the building and the whole thing overheated massively. So it had to be demolished. There's some beautiful imagery of the demolition process in the late nineties and a breakdown of their uh, new design. There's also loads around the um, uh, failure of the building to secure information, which I also think was uh, really interesting at the time. Um, and uh, also comparisons with other kinds of security or militarized aesthetics like the Pentagon. So a really, really great deep dive into what actually happens when you invest in innovation as an architectural type, constructing the Cold War environment, Michael Kubo.